What is going on, everyone? I have to talk a bit quietly today because I am filming this pretty late. I have been streaming a lot lately, and I don't have a lot of time to film these videos. But I really am having a blast streaming, and I'm getting so much love on both YouTube and Twitch. So a big fat kiss for you all. Mwah! Gage in the comments. Alright, so I talked about this on stream, but I wanted to really gather my thoughts officially in this video about the new Makoko Bootcamp that's coming Wednesday. If you all didn't know, I dedicate most of my stream time to helping out new and returning players and a sprinkle of people who get gay kept in raids. So I have a lot of people who tell me about their experiences. Let's start off with the basics here. Gatekeeping is still a huge problem. I already made a video about it where I got gatekept in a behemoth on a 1640 character. And guess what? I'm still getting comments to this day with people justifying this behavior. Yeah, some of the comments there are truly disappointing to see with some actually being Lost Ark content creators themselves who make guides for new players. Talk about irony. I knew gatekeeping was an issue in this game, but after that video and seeing all the negative comments, something just snapped at me. Now, I'm not saying gatekeeping itself is inherently a bad thing, since you will experience gatekeeping in your life no matter what. Your relationships are gatekept by personality and looks. Your career is gatekept by your work experience, education, even your own dreams and aspirations could be gatekept by whether you were born with a golden spoon. But sometimes there's really a limit. I can't believe I have to say this so many times, but if you are gatekeeping a character, who was 1620 before tier 4 patch hit and was getting accepted into raids easily but now is getting gatekept even though they are now 1640 with hyper awakening and t skill boost you are part of the problem with this community sorry so many arguments about how i should have converted to tier 4 gems are we joking it's a tier 3 raid and we are gatekeeping because of tier 4 gems? One of my top commenters of that video said it best. These people get no blank and need to touch grass. Really, really good comment that describes exactly the type of people that are making these, you know, silly comments. Some of you who do that really need to self-reflect on your own logic. I wasn't complaining about something like a gear. I wasn't even complaining about a kinna hard, where you can argue that maybe because of how jail the rare rate is, people are more picky. No, this is behemoth we are talking about. If you think I deserve to get gay kept three times in a row, even though I have full trans and 20 item levels over the raid, you are the problem. I haven't brought this out in a hot minute, but do better. Now, where am I going with this? The Makoko Bootcamp. This is supposed to solve the so-called gatekeeping problem that new and returning players have. I hear it all the time on stream. A dude who has a 1660 war dancer with full trance is getting gatekept from behemoth because he has event gems it's the same problem as me except he's 40 item levels ahead of the raid uh, some of you are something else really like do you get pleasure from doing stuff like this but okay i'm getting sidetracked here's the real message for this video this is the perfect chance for people to do the right thing it has been a pleasure to help out all of you new 
and returning players on stream. And I always eagerly wait to press the start stream button again. I really do because of all the love and support that I get. I want to see people actively helping the Makokos during the boot camp. This is not your free ticket to a relic engraving book. This is your time to show that you actually care about the game. If I see any of you bozos trying to charge buses to these Makokos, this game will die. Actually help them to understand the mechanics and then you can get your stupid 300,000 adrenaline book. You work harder for a lot less gold than that. Surely you can suck it up for a few weeks to help out. Because let me tell you something. If this game ever dies, nobody is going to care about you and your stupid buses where you earned millions of gold and did a year hard first week and unlocked our passive first week. Nobody is going to care. Nobody is going to care that you have a plus 25 weapon. Nobody is going to care that you have full level 10 tier 4 gems. As FYI, I actually found a gun lancer in my behemoth run that had it. And I don't even remember his name. Case in point, nobody gives a crap. But you know what do they do care about? Maybe they won't remember you exactly, but they will remember the positive things that you did for them. I remember the very first time somebody gave me gold, or not gold, sorry, mesos in MapleStory. My very first time playing MapleStory. That was years ago, decades ago. And I still remember the first time somebody gave me gold. Oh, why do I keep saying gold mesos? You guys get the idea, right? They will remember the positive stuff. And who knows? Keep doing positive things. And eventually, one will remember your name even. Or who knows? Maybe you'll connect again in some other game. And karma will come back to you. Who knows? But anyways, the emotions that you feel from someone are what stay permanent in someone's memory. You better on a lighter note i hope everyone is excited for wednesday because i sure am ignite transfers are happening along with boot camp so it's going to be quite an interesting time and i can't wait to see what happens like all the good things that people do right the good the good ones i'm talking about the good ones because i know i'll be doing my best to continue helping people out on my stream anyways that's the end of this video and rant, I guess. I know this is a different kind of video than usual. I was stumbling on my words a little bit too, but I hope I got the message across. Uh, but I seriously can't understand some people and why they act a certain way and just needed to drop something heavy, right? I need to do something. I hope everyone still enjoyed or and or agreed with the points that I made. And for my pineapple gang, you know what to do. Let's all comment. Do better in the comment. Do better. All right, everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.